Hi there, this is Diecast Channel and in this video you're going to see some more 1 to 64 cars. They are actually movie cars. Three of them are Hot Wheels from the movie The Fast and the Furious and two of them are station wagons from different movies made by Greenlight. So before we crack them open, don't forget to subscribe my channel to give me a thumbs up and to click the bell for news. So let's crack them open and take a better look at them. First car I'm going to show is this 1967 Camaro that's made by Hot Wheels. This is a quite old casting, and it's basically the Camaro that was made in mainline. And it's a this casting dates from 1982, I think, and it's got some issues, some imprecisions, I would say, but it's a very nice car. It's a very nice casting. This car is from the movie The Fast and the Furious. I don't know exactly what, uh, which of the Fast and Furious movies, since I'm not really crazy about those movies. I like the cars only, but not all cars, but basically the American cars. This car has got an opening hood, and one of the issues it has is this part should not be a part of the hood, but a part of the front panel that should be fixed here. So the hood would go from this stripe to the back of it. That would be a Z28 Camaro, the Camaro logo here, which we can read, the mufflers and the muffler tips right here on the sides. That's typical of that old casting. That's a very nice yellow color. and. The tail lights and the rear end painted in black looks very nice. This part of the rear panel should be yellow, so I might be doing this with a time. Just got to find the right tone color because I don't want to repaint this car. I really like those wheels and tires. Those look awesome, really, and match the car very well. The front grille could be better, really, and this front panel part uh, below the bumper should be yellow as well. So I might be doing some detailing on this casting here, but it's a very nice casting, a very nice car. Camaro metal base. You can see the engine, tranny, drive shaft, front and rear axles. Actually the rear axle only. And the mufflers with the muffler tips. This is a 69 Mustang Boss that's also from the movie Fast and Furious. It's got a row cage and it's kind of modified for as a race car. The spoiler is pretty much the same we have on Boss Mustangs. The rear uh, with the tail lights looks very nice. Wheels and tires look good. And those fenders are a little wider than they actually are in the, the original car. This casting was originally released in, in orange, I think. And for this series, it was made with a metal base. 69 Mustang front, headlights, and the auxiliary lights and the grill. It's actually a mesh, but it looks good for small scale. Those racing stripes in the hood look also very nice. And this skirt here in the, below the front panel it's also typical of Mustangs. Perhaps it should be black, I'm not quite sure of it, but it, it looks like aluminum actually. The wheels and tires look very nice. It's got rubber tires and a row cage inside. The interior is not very accurate, it's not very realistic, just like the ones you find in green lights or M2s or Auto World. It's got the door and the door handles, differently from the Camaro that doesn't have any door markings here. And the rear looks awesome. This is a pretty good casting. The Mustang base, basically engine, tranny, front and rear axles, and mufflers. Hot Wheels really did a good job of those cars. 1977 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. This one resembles the one 
from the movie Smokey and the Bandit. It's basically the same car, but this one is from Fast and Furious. It's made in black and gold, just like that one, with the eagle, the gold eagle on the hood, and right here in the C column. And the very nice looking taillights with a license plate, the very nice looking wheels that look like those wheels from that car from Smoke and the Bandit movies. And I really like this 1977 Pontiac. I like it more than the other the other model that was used in Smoke and the Bandit too. Some pretty good pretty cool detail in here. Pontiac logo, the trim that's made in gold. Front grill with the headlights looks very nice. These directional lights here and here, all painted. The Trans Am logo and the wheels looks very awesome. Looks awesome, really. Those this hood scoop actually does not open with the hood. Tinted windows and the T-tops. Tail lights look also very realistic. And the muffler tips, there are duals on each side. Metal base looks good. Wheels and tires look good as well. So this is a 1955 Chevrolet 210 Townsman. That's from the movie Vanishing Point, which is a German-American action movie which involved several pursuit scenes. But the most important car in that movie is not this one, but a 1970 Dodge Challenger, which is part of a different video. This is a brand new casting by Green Light, since Green Light made, a, for the first time, four-door 55 Chevrolet station wagon. This is a, from a 210, which is the simpler version. It's got a Just Married ribbon here in the back. And also, this opening window for the tailgate. Tailgate used to, to tilt down, so it's a very interesting car, really. The 210 Townsman with a Chevrolet, Chevrolet emblem, the badges and grill, the bumpers, the wheels and tires look very nice. They have actually that small hubcap, but they're all painted in black, just like the car had no hubcaps at all. The color looks very nice. The interior looks very nice. We can see there's a lot of detail. The dashboard, uh, it's a little hard to see because the interior is black, so the color makes it a little more difficult to see. The Just Married ribbon here in the rear, rear end, and the bumper and tail lights look fantastic, really. Those tail lights, as we can notice, look slightly different from those of a Noman. They're smaller. The trim is also a little different. And it's got four windows open. And we can see the steering wheel and the bench seats and side. There are no grooves in the roof, just for Nomad. And windshield wipers, this hood ornament, and the Chevrolet badge. Hood doesn't open, but the car really looks fantastic. The base of the car is made of metal. It's a lot of good detail here. This is a 1955 Chevrolet Nomad, which is uh, basically a Chevrolet Bel Air station wagon. This car is from the TV sitcom Home Improvement. It's a 90s American TV show. And this is a very nice car. I really didn't buy this one because of a series, but because of a car. I really, I personally don't know this, this TV show very well. But this car really draw my attention for its color, for its detailing, for the casting itself, which I think it's fantastic. It was made by Greenlight. And it's got the opening lid here in the trunk. And this is a very nice detail. Uh, the windows are tinted, so they are darkened and look very nice. It's got trims and emblems and badges and front grille. This is made by Greenlight, so the quality of this car is much superior than the quality of those three Hot Wheels cars I've shown before. 
As we look a little bit closer, we can see the very realistic headlights and grille, the front bumper and the rear bumper are made of plastic and they're very well made. The tail lights are very well made. This lid here, which opens and shuts correctly. And the tinted windows, the wheels and tires look very realistic and very nice. The interior looks very nice with a steering wheel and a panel, the dashboard, as we can see. The handle, the trims, the badges, all details. We can find a real car, you can find in this one. The windshield wipers right here. This detail on the roof, those grooves here that look very nice and very typical of the 1950s nomads. And the wheel wells that are like this for 1955 or 1957, they're slightly different. And I really expect, I really hope Green Life is going to make 1956 and 57 nomads as well. From 0 to 10, I would give 10 to the Green Light station wagons. I would give a 7 to the Camaro, an 8 to the Mustang, and a 9 to the Pontiac made by Hot Wheels. They're also very nice cars, although the Green Light are much more realistic. So I'd like to thank you for all likes and views. For all subscriptions, please don't forget to subscribe my channel to give me a thumbs up. Well, let me know what you think about these cars and about the video. And if you, you if you would like to suggest me any sort of car you would like to see in a 1 to 64 scale, just let me know in your comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.